Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we're going to do some uh, something pretty funny. Uh, my mate Jabber Wingo, or I like to just call him Jabber, and I we decided to uh, run two T ninety fives in a platoon for um, for just for giggles and fun. And uh, Jabber's got his own YouTube channel as well, so uh, I'm going to give him a big plug at the end of this. Um, go over and check out his channel. He's got some really cool stuff. And uh, we're we're from uh, we just formed a new clan, and uh, the clan is called Great Southern Lands. So if you want to come and join us, uh, hit us up, and uh, we will be we'll be looking at all comers. But um, this T ninety five, you know, they call it the Death Turtle. I love it. It's uh, it's a tank that I would never ever sell. Um, yeah, a couple of, a couple of days ago when this was filmed. Uh, don't know what was going on with wargaming. We were just having one of those one of those absolute shockers where every game you played, you were um, last man standing, and um, it just seemed like the whole team was just determined to die and die at the fastest rate possible. So we decided to play T ninety five and just have a bit of fun. And uh, I said to Jabba, I said I might record this just for a bit of fun and uh, see what the outcome is. And uh, this is it. So. We're sort of in a bit of a precarious position here because our meds just kind of like, um, they just all hung back. Uh, none, of, none of them went off and spotted. None of them engaged with the enemy. They sort of just camped back. And I think that's kind of what's happened with the nerfing of the medium tanks. That's, well, the medium tanks have just gone gun shy. They've just gone, you know, completely um, off kilter. They just... They're just not playing how they used to play. And obviously that's happened because the, there's been nerfing happened. But, you know, meds used to go up and scout. And if they got into a, a battle, they would they would do that. And, you know, like TDs, like the T95 could, could roll on through and just keep, you know, doing destruction based on what it could see. But now all the meds are hiding from the opposition side because they don't want to be hit by anyone, which is fair call. Uh, and the meds on your own team aren't doing the job of spotting. So... You know, spotting is a really important part of the game. Um, trying to do that without dying yourself is an art form. So that's a really cool thing. So what we're trying to do is just keep facing the opposition and uh, just seeing if we can just chip away. We're bouncing, taking a few bounces. We're taking a couple of hits, but we've got huge amounts of hit points to, do, to play with. So it's not one of those things. And um, we're slowly getting there. They've lost a couple of tanks on their side. We've lost um, one at this stage, and um, Jabba and I are just sort of trying to work over this flank on the left here. And you notice, wherever I can, I'm pointing the tank towards um, towards the enemy. You, you want to keep this thing front on. Uh, it's Particularly, the rear is as soft as eggshells. Uh, the sides are a little better, um, and, uh, you know, from that perspective, you want to keep front on. So as we're pushed up here to the left, um, well, Jabba's having a bit of fun there, just good night to him. Uh, you can see that we're just now absolutely front on to this uh, E75, but he can still damage me. I mean, he's got a massive gun on that, and, um, and their AMX, I mean, he's got uh, multiple rounds up the spout. And um, you can see he's just gone nut, don't want to have a bar of the T95. And uh, we've just managed to, at that stage, um, wreck his whole day. And uh, the team does well here. We um, do a fair amount of damage. And um, we're having a bit of a, bit of a, a laugh about it because, um, you know, two T95s in a game is uh, absolutely so intimidating for the opposition. I mean, have a look at this thing. It's just got armor written all over it. It's so cool. Absolutely love the tank. Um, a lot of people would, you know, sort of kind of maybe even say it's o it's OP in terms of its um in terms of its its power, its gun, its armor, that sort of stuff. But um, you know, the the reality is it's not. Uh, it can get easily circled by a med. If you get circled by a med, it's all over. So there, we wrapped this game up. Uh, pretty fun. Did a bit of damage, about 3,000, I think we did. Um, and uh, yeah, 3,100 damage. And, you know, we're in a position there where we shouldn't have really, you know, we could have taken a lot more damage. Um, but uh, we were lucky we didn't. Uh, so this game here, 
a whole different ball game. Uh, you know, we want to keep pushing ahead in a straight line. So we're gonna we're gonna go down to the left here, uh, where the rail is, because at least we can get some um, advantage from the cover of the trains, uh, the carriages, which is what's you know really gonna help us out. Because as I said before, the sides and the and the rear of the tank are not um, overly um, armored in terms of um, look at that. OBJ what 704 love T95. Everyone's having a bit of a laugh about our platoon because um, you know it's like you, you never see anyone platooning in two T95s. I, I just think this was a whole. We just did it for fun, but it turns out that it's uh, it's actually quite comical. And um, I think the poor old T95, you know, it's got a bit of a love hate relationship. People hate hate it, um, you know. Uh, you know, for all the right reasons, it, it, and they should. You know, if it's driven the right way, it's absolutely an amazing tank to be in. And um, look at this IS7. I mean, this is a this is a tier up. It's a tier ten match. I bounced that, um, which was unfortunate, and that's left me wide open for the FE here. And this is a tough match, um, even though we've got two uh, Death Turtles here, and you can see Jabs taken one side, and I've taken the other, and. The hardest part is, see how the meds can just pop out and, and nail you, even though he's only tracking me and he's not really doing any damage. Um, he, It's enough to sort of ruin my day because once you burn up all your, um, once you burn up all your saves, you know, your, your equipment repairs and things like that, you can't turn around and, and, and move the turret. So unless someone gets right in front of your gun, you're absolutely screwed. And you can see this FV, he's got the right idea. Let's come around the back here and, and get me. But he runs the other direction. So he probably should have come right on my rear then and just had a go because that would have distracted me from his other teammates. So that was a mistake he made. And instead of going for me, he went for another tank. Um, and that's one thing I can say to the T95 uh, people who are guys who want to attack it. You've got to be aggressive against it. Okay, you might copper shot from it but if you sit in front of this gun it is going to wreck you all day every day and you're going to struggle to do any damage on it so you can see that we've taken that t54 out um and um we're now that fv incidentally went over there and just died um he just got completely wrecked um and uh we're now pushing up further because this is what you want to do in this tank you just keep pushing up and uh, this poor tortoise, he's being tormented down the back here. And uh, the IS-7 is doing a great job of distracting these two guns out of the fight that we're in. And uh, you can see I'm just still trying to wait for a, a reload. And um, it's it's one of those things. The reload is longer, um, with more damage into that tortoise. Poor bugger, he's sort of trapped there between a rock and a hard place. And, and that's one thing. The tortoise doesn't have the armor of the T95. But um, we're going to wrap this game up pretty quickly. Uh, this IS-7 sitting here. And um, you just keep pushing forward. I've still got all my hit points. Uh, even after that, how many bounces did we take? Um, it's it's one of those tanks that you can just have the confidence of doing that. But I've got to warn you, don't sit out there in front and take everyone's bullets because uh, you can get damaged. Um, again, a uh, bit of fun. Death Turtle, we love it. Get onto Jabba, get onto his page and have a bit of a look. And um, nearly 3,000 damage again. No damage taken. And we've got a Brothers in Arms, even better. So thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, till next time.